foot binding, also known as lotus feet, is a practice that originated in China during the Tang Dynasty, 618, 907 AD, and lasted until the early 20th century. The practice involved tightly binding the feet of young girls in order to prevent them from growing to their natural size, resulting in a permanently deformed and small foot known as the lotus foot. This practice was considered a sign of beauty and social status among Chinese women, and it remained a prevalent tradition for over a thousand years. The origins of foot binding are unclear, but some historians suggest that it began as a way for wealthy women to distinguish themselves from lower-class women who were required to do physical labor. By binding their feet, wealthy women were able to demonstrate their ability to avoid such labor and to signify their social status. The practice of foot binding involved tightly wrapping the feet of young girls, usually between the ages of four and seven, with long strips of cloth, gradually pulling the toes downward and under the foot to create the characteristic arch of the lotus foot. This process was incredibly painful and often led to infections, as the toes would sometimes break or become infected as a result of the tightly bound feet. The process of binding the feet was usually carried out by the girl's mother or another female relative, and it was often a source of bonding between mothers and daughters. Foot binding had significant social implications for women in China. The practice was seen as a symbol of beauty and femininity, and it was believed that women with bound feet were more likely to be desired as wives. In addition, foot binding allowed women to demonstrate their obedience to their husbands and their commitment to their families, as women with bound feet were often unable to walk long distances or perform manual labor. This helped to reinforce traditional gender roles in Chinese society, in which women were expected to be obedient and submissive to men. However, the practice of foot binding also had significant negative consequences for women. In addition to the physical pain and infections associated with the process, women with bound feet were often unable to walk or stand for long periods of time, and they were at risk of falling and injuring themselves. This made it difficult for them to participate in physical activities or to work outside the home. In addition, foot binding often led to other health problems, such as poor circulation, back pain, and respiratory issues. Despite these negative consequences, foot binding remained a prevalent practice in China for over a thousand years. It was not until the early 20th century, when China began to modernize and open up to the outside world, that the practice began to decline. In 1911, the Chinese Revolution led to the overthrow of the Qing Dynasty, and the new government began to promote modernization and the elimination of traditional practices such as foot binding. By the 1920s, foot binding had largely disappeared from urban areas in China, although it persisted in some rural areas until the mid-20th century. Today, foot binding is no longer practiced in China, although some elderly women with bound feet can still be found in remote areas. The legacy of foot binding has had a lasting impact on Chinese society. The practice reinforced traditional gender roles and helped to maintain the patriarchal social order. It also had significant negative consequences for women's health and well-being. Today, foot binding is recognized as a harmful and abusive practice, and it serves as a reminder of the ways in which cultural traditions can be used to justify the subjugation of women. In conclusion, foot binding was a practice that had significant social and cultural implications for women in China. It was a symbol of beauty and femininity, but it also had significant negative consequences for women's health and well-being. Despite the pain and suffering associated with the practice, foot binding persisted in China.